The South Staffordshire and Birmingham District Steam Tramways Company which became the South Staffordshire Tramways Company operated a tramway service from their depot in Wensbury between 1883 and 1924. <laughs> South Staffordshire and Birmingham District Steam Tramways Company The Staffordshire Tramways Order of 1879 authorised the construction of the Steam Tramway which was operated by the South Staffordshire and Birmingham District Steam Tramways Company. The company depot was at Kings Hill, Wensbury. Routes and start dates were as follows 16 July 1883 New Inns Handsworth and Darleston, via West Bromwich and Wensbury. 14 January 1884 Carters Green, West Bromwich to Great Bridge 21 January 1884 Wensbury to Dudley, via Tipton 21 January 1884 Darleston to Moxie 4 December 1884 Wensbury to Blockswich, via Pleck and Walsall 4 December 1884 Darleston to Pleck 4 December 1884 An extension from Walsall to Mellish Road 12 October 1885 Great Bridge to Dudley 21 November 1885 An extension at Blockswich. Topic Fleet 1-2 Wilkinson 1883-3-12 Bayer, Peacock & Company 1883-13-16 Thomas Green & Son 1883-17-21 Wilkinson 1883-22-29 Bayer, Peacock & Company 1884-30-37 Thomas Green & Son 1884-38 Falcon Engine & Car Works 1885 Second hand from Hartlepool Steam Tramway In addition there were 12 passenger trailer vehicles from the Starbuck Car & Wagon Company and 22 from Falcon Engine & Car Works works Topic South Staffordshire Tramways Company Modernization of the services was initiated on the 26th of August 1889 when the company changed its name to the South Staffordshire Tramways Company a program of electrification followed shortly afterwards, and on 1 January 1893 the routes from Walsall to Blockswich and Darleston to Mellish Road via Walsall had been converted. The British Electric Traction Company purchased the electric lines on of June 1899 and transferred them to the South Staffordshire Tramways Lessie Company and leased the remaining lines from 23 June 1900. Walsall Corporation purchased the track within their boundary on 1 January 1901 and leased them back until 31 December 1903, by which time the Walsall Corporation tramways were in a position to operate their own services. The company worked joint services with Walsall Corporation tramways on the routes from Wensbury, and from Darleston, to Walsall. West Bromwich Corporation followed suit on 31 January 1902, and later Wensbury, Handsworth and Dudley Councils, purchasing tracks within their boundary to converting them for electric traction. They were leased them back to the company. Electrification progressed as follows 20 December 1902 – Handsworth to Carters Green 24 January 1903 – Carters Green to Great Bridge 19 February 1903 – Carters Green to Hilltop 10 April 1903 – Hilltop to Wensbury 23 April 1903 – Darleston to Moxley served by the Wolverhampton District Electric Tramways Company 30 May 1903 – Great Bridge to Dudley Railway Station 8 October 1903 – Wensbury to the White Horse the 22nd of January 1907 Wensbury and Dudley and the 9th of October 1912 are through service between Colmore Row, Birmingham to Darleston, via Handsworth, West Bromwich and Wensbury started. On the 26th of May 1923 it was extended to Bilston over the tracks of the Wolverhampton District Electric Tramways Company. Topic: <laughs> Power generation. The generating station was situated near to the Birmingham Canal on the Darleston and Walsall Road. A canal basin was formed alongside the station for the delivery of coal. The station comprised an engine room 59 feet 18 meters by 45 feet 14 meters, a boiler house 47 feet 14 meters by 39 feet 12 meters, an octagonal chimney stack 120 feet 37 meters high, and detached oil stores and outbuildings. The boiler house had three Lancashire boilers working at 120 pounds 54 kilograms per square inch. 
Each boiler was 30 feet (9.1 meters) by 7 feet (2.1 meters), with internal flues 33 inches (840 millimeters) in diameter, with five cross tubes. The engine room housed three compound horizontal engines and three dynamos. At 100 revolutions per minute, with a pressure of 120 pounds (54 kilograms) per square inch, each engine developed 125 horsepower (93 kilowatts). At 450 revolutions per minute the dynamos gave an output of 260 amps at 350 volts. Topic: <inaudible> Closure. The South Staffordshire Tramways Company came to an end on the 1st of April 1924 when the services were split between Birmingham Corporation Tramways the Wolverhampton District Electric Tramways Company and the Dudley Stourbridge and District Electric Traction Company. <laughs> <laughs> 